guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. And for the first time in a little while, we are going to be reviewing a Barbie signature doll today with you guys. Um, we don't really get a chance to show it much on this channel, but Sang and I are actually huge Marvel fans. And uh, Barbie collaborated with Marvel for their 80th anniversary this year. It is Marvel's 80th anniversary. And they released a series of X-Men dolls. Um, and they created a doll of Storm, Mystique, and Dark Phoenix. And Dark Phoenix is who we will be reviewing today. Uh, this doll is a GameStop exclusive and... Wait, no, she's not. JK. I guess retail-wise, she's a GameStop exclusive. Mm -hmm. And then uh, um, online, you can purchase it directly from Barbie.com. Yes. And she is priced at $54.99, so a bit pricey, um, but you know, kind of what you come to expect from Barbie Signature. So we will go ahead and jump right into the packaging. Um, and she does have a decent display packaging, but um, it's a little cardboard and plastic looking, I think, compared to what we're used to from Barbie Signature. We do have, you know, a little plastic kind of dome situation here and there is some nice you know cardboard fire so there is a little bit of a display for phoenix in there and we have the barbie signature logo on the bottom and letting you know of course it is marvel's 80th anniversary and we have the marvel logo on this side is it the same thing oh yeah. this one is actually one of my favorite dark phoenix uh pictures i think it's mm -hmm. the cover for one of her comics. I think it was like War Song or End Song, so. Beautiful art. Love that. And on the back, we have uh, the same artwork on the bottom and a little blurb about the celebration of the anniversary and paying tribute to these legendary X-Men characters. And, uh, you know, a little bit about Dark Phoenix specifically. Um, one of the most powerful mutants, of course. So, we're going to go ahead and unbox her and give you guys a closer look at the doll. All right, so here is Dark Phoenix, uh, Jean Grey out of box, and she has some kind of dark, like ashy brown eyeshadow with um... the lips are. It's you know, it's funny. I I want to say it's sort of like a deep reddish brown. I want to say like a like a reddish tan color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As for her hair, she has um, waist length curly red hair. It's kind of like a light orange, uh, reddish orange. And Ooh, she has some, she has some light brown to, ah, uh, well she, it's kind of like a light yellowish brown orange um, highlights in her hair. So it's, mm -hmm. there's a bit of dimension in there. She also has a bit of blush as well. And according to the Barbie website, her facial sculpt is mermaid. I think is this really is this the same sculpt as the Mermaid Enchantress? I'm not sure. I will fact check that, but it's a very nice sculpt for Jean. I think it works. Moving on to her outfit, Dark Phoenix is wearing a fairly skin tight, or almost pretty skin tight, uh, bright red bodysuit, of course, with the golden phoenix emblem across her chest, and she is wearing um, handless. <laughs> gloves. Um, so essentially, you know, the way these are structured is there is a cloth piece that goes all the way to her wrist and then her wrist itself is painted gold. Um, which, you know, in this case, I think it works. Let's just take this off and see what the situation is. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so she has normal skin tone underneath there and then a painted gold hand. Yeah, her bodysuit does not cover her entire body. It goes up mm -hmm. to where her gloves and her boots go up to. So um, you cannot just remove her gloves and boots and have a full jumpsuit. So she is also wearing um, her golden sash, true to form. And it does have lovely little um, Phoenix emblem right there. Super cute. Really love how that looks. Another thing is that if you like to, you can open this up and remove it. It is um, connected with Velcro. So moving down to her shoes, um, she is wearing a pair of cloth boots that they don't quite have heels though. 
They're at the bottom. They're flats. They're flats. Yeah, they're more like they're they're sort of arched, but yeah, they are. They're flats. Um, I actually kind of like how the bottom of them look, though. It's like a tough plastic, and it's all dark gold. And something kind of interesting about her feet as well is, yeah, as Sang mentioned, she's not technically wearing a full body suit, so on the bottom it's, it's more like shorts. And as you can see, she does not have ankle articulation, which um, we will talk about mm -hmm. her full articulation. You can move her at the head, at the elbow, um, and uh, right sorry, the shoulder. You can move her at the shoulder as well as the elbow, and she can move her wrists, her hands. Um, and does she have? Yeah. No, she does not have a breast joint, but you can um, move her legs up and down. She has articulation at her knees as well, but yeah, there's just there's no articulation at her ankles. Yeah, she's actually a very interesting combination of. The made to move bodies because her her joints her elbow joints as well as her knee joints has that kind of like snappiness towards it like mm -hmm. so they do reach up to her face but she also like like she doesn't have like um ankle articulation or mm -hmm. the breast piece so it's kind of like a, a mix between the two so this Dark Phoenix Barbie does also come with a stand, and I wasn't a fan of it initially, but you know, it's essentially you just pose her up at her thigh. I guess looking at it more, it's, you know, it's functional. Yeah, it's not adjustable like some of the other stands are, mm -hmm. so you, yeah. kinda have, you can't pose her quite well on it, but it works and it's, it's very sturdy, so mm -hmm. which is nice. So she does, as with most Barbie signature dolls, she does come with a certificate of authenticity. Um, and yeah, you know, these ones uh, are not limited count. They usually just let you know, you know, if you've watched our other Barbie signature videos, some of them, they just say no more than like blank amount made worldwide, but they're not like a set limited count. Yeah, this one actually doesn't say how many were made or how mm -hmm. many, what the limit is. So it's just, she's limited edition. Yes. Much. All right, so we're on to our final thoughts. And when they first announced this uh, back, I think they, they announced it, I think, last San Diego Comic Con or somewhere around then. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I, I definitely rushed to GameStop and pre ordered. And I was the only one in my GameStop who actually pre ordered them, so mm -hmm. they only had a set for me. Mm -hmm. But I think these are pretty detailed. It's interesting to see her as a set with the other two characters that they released. Uh, I think they're they're very cool and they go really great as a set. Um, definitely, Jean is my favorite one. She's, you know, in her iconic outfit. And the only thing I don't know if I like is her eyes. I think it's it's kind of like a weird balance between, generally speaking, in the comics she has like clear like no pupils. Um, when she's in her dark phoenix form, um, but they gave her kind of like a light um, yellow glow pupils in this version, which I guess is a kind of balance between like something like demonic and a bit more appealing looking as a doll form. So it, it's interesting, but mm -hmm. I less, like her. less offensive, quote unquote, or I guess, or yeah. scary looking, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's it's funny because we actually have, you know, there are a lot of different options out there um, for Marvel characters and, you know, the X-Men girls um, in terms of action figures. Um, you know, I mean, there's Hot Toys and there's Marvel Legends and I'm starting to get really into Marvel Legends right now. Um, and those are like really nice action figures for a reasonable price point. But I feel like there's not a huge plethora of Marvel dolls that are of good quality, but also like fairly easily accessible to the public. Um, so I think it's really cool that Mattel did this. Um, you know, and even though they're not super readily available on the shelves, you know, my impression is that these are not going to be available at like Target or anything like that. 
Um, I do think that they are very nice dolls for Barbie collectors and, you know, fans of X-Men and Marvel in general. Um, I do think she's a beautiful doll. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, when we were talking about her articulation, I feel like of all the dolls they could have given made to move bodies to, I'm a little surprised they didn't take that opportunity with X-Men, because obviously with comic book heroes, it's like, you know, people usually purchase those in action figure form. It's like you want a lot of posability for action poses and that kind of thing. So, a um, little bit of a bummer that they didn't give her the made to move body, but she is still very posable. I'm wanting to say, considering that she doesn't come with a whole lot aside from just the doll itself, um, I feel like $55 is a little bit steep. I feel like maybe. 40, <laughs> 45 would be like a more yeah. fair price point for these. Well, I think the thing is with these collaborations, there's so many hands in the pot kind of deal, mm -hmm. where like, you know, you gotta pay um, Marvel for the license as well as, you know, Mattel has to make a profit and, yeah, and you know, like these exclusive offers to like GameStop and, mm -hmm. and all those kind of things kind of like raises the cost of these so I can understand why they're a bit more expensive but I still think they're this almost maybe slightly less detailed compared to some of like the Barbie like uh, signature lines mm -hmm. and those ones are what $75 so mm -hmm. I mean these you know, come with articulation as well as uh, I, I, I like the the way they display the, the gloves because, like, you know, they could have mm -hmm. done mittens, which can look kind of weird. So the, the, the half, you know, painted hands slash sleeves makes it kind of cool and posable. So mm -hmm. I like that. It looks decently accurate to the character. So, yeah, 55 is a little expensive. I, I, I thought they were 50 initially, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess the thing is they have to pay for the license, and again, they don't know how well these will sell. Yeah, for sure. But I would love to see more Mattel Marvel collaborations. I think overall she's a really cool doll, and, you know, it's nice to get a little bit more of that nerd culture in combination with Barbie. Would love to see more of that. So, thank you for joining us for our unboxing and review of the Barbie signature Marvel's Dark Phoenix doll. Make sure to let us know in the comments what you guys think of her and what you'd like to see reviewed next on our channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.